Hello, everybody. I'm just starting this live stream out because I would like to talk about um, two things. Well, mainly one, but the combination of the two. So we have the tour creator that was put out by Google last month in May 2018. It's a very open, it's like Google's answer. Google Docs makes 360 tours. It's very easy to make 360 tours and you can actually use a lot of content that is already out and available on Street View. So um, if you're a teacher and you're looking to create or have students create uh, virtual tours for a variety of learning uh, activities and materials, it's, this can be a very exciting tool. But to experience it, you'll want to have students hop into some sort of immersive heads-up display, and I'm going to be testing this virtual tour. I've already tested it a few times, but I want to show you how it works in the Oculus Go, because um, the Oculus Go is very cheap, it's very portable, and at first glance, you, as a teacher, it might be very a uh, good tool to bring into the classroom because you can bring a few of them in and disperse them to students. So <clears throat> let's take a look. Uh, first of all, if you don't know what uh, Tour Creator is, oh, hi, Sarah. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Um, if you don't know what Tour Creator is, um, it's a free tool made by the group at Poly. Um, dot google dot com with a bunch of other tools like uh, Google Earth VR and uh, Google Blocks, and you can basically create 360 guided tours using your own 360 photos, and um, you can even use some of the Street View stuff that's available in Google. So there's a lot of stuff that you can use, even though you don't haven't made any content yourself. If you want to see an introduction to that and what it's all about, I've already created a video on my YouTube channel, and we're looking at the the uh, the thumb screen for that right now. Right. So let's hop into a tour that I've already created. They all go on the poly.google.com domain, and what you first, if you want to find out how to make them, you go back to that first video I just showed you. But after you, after you make them, you share them out just like you would a Google Doc, and you get a link just like this one here. You can shorten it if you want. And what we're looking at now is a web view, what you might look at when you pull it up on your PC. And if you use your mouse, well, I'm going to use my controller with the VR, but I'm just going to click and swipe through. And this is. Um, on the stage of TEDx Kyoto 2014, where we did some AR VR stuff. Anyway, so I'm just clicking and moving back and forth. And I can, I think I can make this full screen. There we go. You know, see down the Oculus Go has in their browser to browse the internet, they if there is 360 content, it allows you to look at it in various forms. There's 180, VR 180, and stereoscopic for 360 and not. So you can try to look at this in 360. And, of course, that does not look right. <clears throat> not even one bit. And I've actually lost the view of my controller, so it's very disoriented. So that doesn't work. So just to, just to kind of remind you what you can do, it's very limited in what you can do. So you take your 360 photo, you can add text in these I informational buttons, or you can add photos, which is just a quick um, transparent photo that I've added in here. And then you could add different scenes on the bottom here, there's scene one and scene two. Here's my office from back in the day. Um, I just cleared out of this office, actually. Got a new office in Kyoto. So there's like these informational points. You just click on them. I'm clicking on them by pointing with the controller and hitting the trigger button, right? So this is mainly just like how it would look in on the computer screen. So at this in this forum, it doesn't really have any using the Oculus Go doesn't really give any merit other they could just use it on a PC. It would work functionally almost the same. But I'd like to turn your attention to the top 
right corner of the screen of the window. And in mobile devices, some mobile devices, not all, and I'm going to be getting conflicting reports. These have not appeared yet on any iOS devices, but on most Android devices, and uh, I'm seeing it now, if your device has been detected as a compatible device for Google Cardboard, this, this icon will appear. And clicking on this will bring you into 3D form. And it's amazing, it, it actually works. Um, I've tried a couple of other software with that even has Google uh, Cardboard support and it doesn't work in Oculus Go and it's working. But one drawback, so on the controller, and here I am back again in web view. Took it out of full screen. I can see how that looks in the desktop version. Like, oops, no, nope, I don't want to do that. This is how it would look on a cell cellular device. I'll widen that back up again. So, in short, a uh, tour creator is a great tool, very as a simple tool to get you started. Oh, Michael Collins. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Haven't seen you in a while. Um, I recommend Tour Creator to get students started working with this kind of stuff. <clears throat> they need some prompting to know what makes a tour and what information and how this can be used in s different settings. Um, if... For example, we have a tourism department at the university I teach, so this could be very popular or a very powerful tool to get students thinking about um, how tourists will be going through different areas of a tourist destination. Or you could visit heritage sites or places around the world as well. You have students create a tour on their own using uh, Street View stuff, maybe where their hometown even. Um, but using the Oculus Go as a full scale, a lot of students in the same room using Oculus Go, even though it's tempting because <clears throat> it's only 200 bucks and um, it's very portable, um, I wouldn't recommend it for use with Tour Creator it, because maybe Google, um, the, the controller, you lose uh, use of the controller and you just might as well use the um, student's devices with a Google Cardboard. It's just the same functionality as well. Um, if you Again, I'll go back <clears throat> and say that if you want to learn how get an introduction to Tour Creator and how to make something, go back and look at that video on my YouTube channel. And if you want to know about more of our research, uh, we have a research group now called Maver SIG in JALT in Japan. Uh, mixed Augmented Virtual Realities and Learning, or you can just follow me on any of these social channels. I'm putting out, we put out podcasts and blogs and links and a whole bunch of good goody stuff <laughs> about uh, augmented and virtual realities in learning environments. It's just about bedtime for me, guys. If you guys want to keep chatting along later, um, we can. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments or send me a mail or something. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to cut off the, sh the uh, feed now. Peace out.